Linear actuators are mechanisms that convert rotational movement into linear motion. They are often used in machines due to their compactness and ability to create a lot of torque. Now, there are LEGO linear actuators, but they're quite short and they don't offer a lot of range of motion. So this video will talk about how rack and pinions can also be used to create this linear movement, as well as why they should replace mechanical arms in FLL. Gear racks, in my opinion, are one of the most useful mechanisms in FLL since they can be applied to almost any mission because they can move both vertically and horizontally. If you separate an FLL season's missions into two categories that either require vertical or horizontal movement, you would be surprised to see that most of the missions would be covered in these categories. Horizontal rack and pinions consist of a gear, known as a pinion, that lies flat against the frame of the robot, which then interlocks with the gear rack. And finally, to secure the gear rack, a frame is built around it to prevent the rack from moving in any direction except side to side. Apart from doing missions that require horizontal movement, this simple setup can be used to deliver missions after passing an obstacle and most of all, complete missions on the other side of the field after simply extending the length of the gear rack. Vertical rack and pinions are a little bit harder to use because you have to build a tight frame supporting it from all directions. So I would recommend using this gear rack housing piece that holds a 14x2 gear rack really well. And although the shape of the housing piece is a little weird to build with, it ensures that the gear is always in contact with the gear rack, which is really important when lifting mission pieces. And using this vertical setup, this rack and pinion attachment is able to lift missions and place mission pieces off the ground. Overall, rack and pinions should replace mechanical arms because they are far more compact and much easier to increase in length. Their ability to move both vertically and horizontally also make them one of the most versatile mechanisms in FLL.